YouTube, Justify, NRESounds.com. There are several plugins that you can use to accomplish this, one being the Fetrix, Looperator, M Rhythmizer, Initial Audio, Reverse. Or it's the typical bounce in place, reversing, and you're left with something that sounds something similar like this. Now, I don't know about you, but for me, that is very displeasing. This is the way that we've been doing it thus far and it's been working and but the problem with this is that the original chord progression all the aesthetics the emotion the the progression the tonality is lost i'm gonna show you how you can maintain the aesthetics the tonality and the original chord progression but yet the sound is reversed first thing you want to do is you want to look at your markers pay attention from bar one to the ending of eight beginning of nine so you want to double click you want to make sure that you select all your notes go to MIDI transform and you want to go to reverse position and remember I said that you had to make sure that you have your markers, you, you, you start in your end position. By default, it'll be on five. And if you did it, it's not going to reverse. It's, it's only going to reverse marker one through five. So you want to make sure that you got the region selected and hit operate. So now, your notes are all reversed. At this point, you want to now bounce it in place. Now what we'll do is we're going to listen to the original chord progression, and then we're going to listen to the now reversed chord progression. Now let's listen to the reversed chord progression. Now in comparison, doesn't that sound much more pleasing than this? Sounds horrible. We're going to go ahead and get rid of this. Now, you combine the two, and it gives a whole different feel, a different emotion. You can go ahead and you can add effects to this uh, reverse, put it, you know, put some more reverb on it. You can put some. Uh, what I like using is uh, Outputs, Portal. It's a dope plugin. But let's listen to what this sounds like together. So this was a quick tutorial on how to reverse 
the right way in Logic Pro X. Remember, if it sounds good, it is good. If you learned something from this video, you want to become a part of the Logic Gang community where we're always sharing it ideas, you know, because the FL Studio community, they're, you know, they're, they're set. You can go on YouTube and you can find countless tutorials on all of these tips and tricks. And a lot of their uh, things that they, they are able to do in, uh, in FL Studio, I've been trying to find ways to incorporate that into um, the DAW of my choice, which is Logic Pro X. And as I come across these uh, techniques, I have no problem sharing. So if you found this uh, video useful, please do me a favor. Helps the channel out tremendously. If you would just give me a like, if you would share this, it would even do the channel an either, even greater service if you were to subscribe and click the post notifications button. YouTube, justify nresounds.com.